Welcome to The Kayla Lee Show. We're about to leave behind those old school beliefs and those low vibe limitations that lead you to exhaustion and to burnout as you grow your business. Together, we will explore how you can 2x your revenue in the next 90 days, how you can reclaim back 10 plus hours of your week, how you can rapidly create a multi six figure business or a seven figure business in less than 12 months. Hello, beautiful, and welcome back to The Kaylee Show. Oh, this conversation is probably going to trigger you, and there might even be an element of you that just wants to turn this episode off, but I really want you to lean into the discomfort because I promise you that more clarity will come, more of everything that you want will come, more freedom will come. If you lean into this conversation now, it doesn't surprise me over the last 18 months of working with incredible women. One of the greatest challenges has been pricing themselves profitable, meaning that more often than not women who work with me have priced their services off of what their perception is of their worth and their value. So instead of pricing their services based on a strategy to build a profit, they're pricing their services off of what they think they should be based on their own perception of their worth and their value. Through the market research that they have done, within their community. And I'm not just targeting you and I'm not just targeting anybody in our industry, but I am sharing this from a deep space of love and compassion because I understand, because that was also me. To give you some background, I am a qualified bookkeeper. I have a certification in accounting and I still did not price my services profitable. I priced my services for nearly six years in business based on what the market and the community were doing. So instead of having a strategy, I would just pluck numbers out of thin air that felt good. And I would pluck those numbers out of thin air based on the market research that I had done. So I would do research looking at what's everybody else charging, what are their rates for this service, what are their rates for that service, and then I would price myself based on my own assumption of my own worth and value. So the the awful part about this and doing it this way is that I was pricing my services based on my own perception of my own worth. Now that works incredibly well if you have an extraordinary level of self-worth, but I myself, and I, who feels really hard for me to say this, but for me, myself, it actually was the opposite. It's been a journey for me to see my value. It is always a journey for me to see my value. It's a gift that I see the value in everybody else around me, but for some reason, it's really hard for me to see the value in myself. So having a profitable pricing strategy in place is what really helped me to understand what I should be charging based on the hours that I want to be working so that I can build a profitable business. I became no longer interested in what Sally or Lucy or... I can't even think of a name, Karen is charging. And I became more concerned about what I need to be charging so that I can build a profitable business so that that profit can create more opportunity for my family, for my team. So for me, it's been quite the journey. I've had to learn to see my value. And I've had to learn to hold my value and not waver inconsistently by handing out free trials or 
discounts or complimentary services be just to get the booking. I've had to remain so stable and so connected to my worth and my profitable pricing strategy so that whenever a client said that I was too expensive or whenever a client ghosted me or whenever a client said she's already booked with somebody else, I didn't change my pricing just to get the booking. It's taken me six years to get to this point. It took me six years to get to that point. I was so fully booked in my business when I first started that I could not go over 100K. That's insane. I was undercharging myself and yet I was fully booked and yet I was still nowhere ahead. Like I was still working the hours, still crossing my own boundaries, still working late nights, still fitting in clients on the weekends, still trying to fit in as many brides as possible just to fucking get money. And it wasn't that I wasn't fully booked. It wasn't that I didn't know how to market myself. It was that I didn't have a profitable pricing strategy in place, which meant that when I was showing up, I was undercharging myself. I would work so fucking hard and get such incredible fucking results. And I was undercharging myself. I say this now, but at the time I couldn't see it. I say this now and I could not see it. I still couldn't see my worth for so long in business. I still couldn't set boundaries for so long in business. It took me six years to get to that point. And this is one of the greatest challenges I see in our industry is that we are so quick to see everybody else's value, which is where we get comparison and envy and we're jealous of somebody else's success because we don't think that it's possible for us. Because we don't believe that we can create that. Because we don't believe that we're worthy of that. We don't believe that we can have that. So we're triggered by somebody else's success. And we're triggered by what they're creating and what they have. Because we're comparing ourselves to them. Because we don't believe that we're worthy of that. We don't believe that we can have that. We don't believe that we can achieve that. Because we are pedestaling what they've created. But what if you started to see that her, what she has created is the perfect representation of what is available to you. So if you're triggered by somebody else's success, that is an invitation for you to step into, how can I create that too? There's no difference between her or you. It's just that she's taken the action she got there. Where are you not taking the action? Where are you hesitating? Where is the resistance? Why are you not leaning into your goals? What is holding you back? What, what belief is constricting you and holding you down that's making you think and feel that you can't create that too? If you're seeing that she's getting these goals, if you're seeing that she's reaching these revenue peaks, if you're seeing that and you want it, why don't you start to see your value? Because what she has is available to you. And what you want to create is available to you. And what you want to have is available to you because it's already within you. And so the first step that shifted everything for me when I was in that stage of not seeing my worth, of thinking her work is way better than I, like, why would that bride choose me? Why would she choose me over her? She's fucking incredible. Don't get me wrong. I have told myself all of the stories. I have been triggered for so fucking long in my life. I used to be that woman, which is why I understand it so clearly. I used to think that why would the bride choose me when she could choose her? Why would she choose me when she could choose her? The only way she would choose me is if I keep myself under... I price myself so low that she it's like a no-brainer. Where are you doing this in business? Are you doing this with your pricing strategy as well? 
when a bride inquires with you or a client inquires with you and she says you're too expensive, how does it, how does that feel in your body? Do you feel like, do you deeply believe that she's right? Does it make you question your prices? Do you want to reduce your prices? Do you want to give her a discount? Do you want to offer free travel? What do you shift? What is your action from there? When somebody says that you, she's booked somebody else or she's ghosting you or you're too expensive, what is your action or reaction from there? What do you do from there? Do you offer a discount? Do you reduce the travel fee? Do you waiver the travel fee completely? What do you do? How stable are you in your profitable pricing strategy? How stable are you in knowing your worth and your value? Or how quickly do you waver when somebody questions it? Do you know how many times women have wanted to work with me and then don't? Imagine if every time that happened, I reduced my pricing. When I was doing in-salon education, do you know how many salons reached out to me to do in-salon education? And then when I told them my pricing, they'd ghost me or they'd say they're not ready or it's too expensive. Imagine if I reduced my pricing for every single one of those. I would basically be giving my services away. This took me so long to learn in business because I never truly fucking see my worth. I never truly fucking see my value. And I used to pedestal everybody else's success and growth and results and expertise and experience. I used to look at other people's Instagram and think, fuck, she's amazing. I wish I could be that amazing. I always see somebody else's incredible level of expertise, but I fail to see it in myself. And so because of that, for so long in business, I undercharged myself because it was the sure way to getting the result that I wanted. But very quickly after babies, I started to realize there's no fucking way that I can continue going the way that I am. It's not possible and it's not worth it. I started to value my babies more than work, which meant that I increased my prices. Because if I was going to be away from my babies, it was going to be fucking worth it. But notice, and I feel even uncomfortable saying this, it's actually going to make me cry, but notice that even then, I still didn't see my worth. I increased my prices because my babies meant more to me than work. I increased my prices because my babies spending time with them, and if I was going to be away from them, it's going to be fucking worth it which is so goddamn true, but at the same time, I didn't increase my prices because I see my worth. I increased my prices because the value of my time with my babies was far more precious than doing anything with a client. So notice that even then, six years into my journey, I increased my prices not because I see my worth, but because the worth of my time with my babies was far more precious than working with a client. So my boundaries got tighter and my pricing strategy got clearer because I was no, gonna, no longer going to undercharge my services. I was no longer going to work hours that didn't work for me. I got really clear about what I fucking wanted, but I still did not see my value or my worth. And I'll be honest, even to today, this is still a challenge for me, is to see my value and worth. I can see the value in everybody and everything that they do. I can see how incredible they are at their expertise, their creativity. But I struggle at times to see that within myself too. I'm human, just like you. I have to remind myself of the results that I get for my clients. What is the impact that I'm having for my clients? What does it mean for my clients when they work with me? What does it mean for a bride when she gets to book in with us? What is that worth? When I started to see and understand the transformation that I was offering my clients, when I started to see and understand the experience that we offered our clients, 
I started to see that we weren't just a service. So why the fuck are we charging ourselves like a service? Why the fuck am I charging our team like the community? Because we're not like the community. We're different. We're unique. We've curated our entire brand and client experience specifically for our soul line client. What we offer in our business is far beyond anything that I've ever seen in our industry. So why the fuck am I charging myself like anybody else? We're not just a service. We're an experience. An experience that goes far beyond just a service. An experience that goes far beyond that one hour appointment. An experience that goes far beyond just that one day. What do you think your client feels like when she books in with you? What do you think she's experiencing as she's receiving the service? What do you think she's feeling when you are finished with your service? What do you think she's feeling as she walks out the door? What do you think she's feeling as you're taking content because you're obsessed with what you've created? What do you think she's feeling Throughout that week, how do you think she goes home to her husband, her wife, her kids, her family, her fucking dog? How do you think she moves through life after her appointment with you? How do you think she greets her colleagues when she goes to work the next day and they're commenting on how fucking incredible her hair looks or how on point her fucking brows are? Whatever it is that you offer in your business, you better know the value that you bring to your clients. You better know the experience that you offer to your clients and you better fucking know how she feels when she has experienced your services. Because that is the true value of what you do. You are not just a service. You never were. And when you start to see that, you'll start to see your worth and value. When you start to see how incredible you are at your skills and how incredible you are at your expertise and the level of client experience that you offer, when you start to see that, when you start to see how she feels when she walks in to her appointment with you and when she walks out of the appointment with you and how she walks in the door to see her husband or wife or how she greets her children because she feels so fucking good about herself. She's been looking forward to this one moment all fucking month and now she's here and experiencing it. She looks after every single person in her life and then she gets to experience being looked after. And yet you think you are a service and you think that your appointment only lasts for one hour but it lasts for a lifetime. It lasts for a month. It lasts for a week. It lasts for 24 hours, but you think it lasts for one. You were never just a service, not with the level of results that you get, not with the client experience that you offer. You were never just a service. And it's about time that you started to press your services profitably. In my profitable pricing strategy, I take you through how to price your services with profit, understanding your wage, understanding your operating costs, understanding your marketing costs, understanding your client management and support costs, understanding your product costs, understanding your ideal profitable hourly rate so that you can build out your service menu based on profitable scalability. I help you to understand why you charge what you charge so you can charge it with absolute fucking confidence. No longer charging based on what you view yourself to be, based on what the community is charging, starting to deeply understand what you need to be charging to build a profitable business without working more hours that offers more to your family. And having a strategy in place so it makes sense, so you can understand why you charge what you charge. So you don't just offer discounts. So you don't just offer free services just to get the booking. You will feel 100% ready and confident to create more profit in your business. So this can roller coaster and ripple out beyond you into your family, into your life, into your home, into your lifestyle, into opportunities, into holidays, all of the things. You work so hard to overgive and you give so much to your clients. So understand what needs to shift in your pricing strategy 
so that you can receive what you so fucking deserve to receive. And so you can lead your business like the CEO that you already are. Thank you for joining me today, gorgeous. If you're loving this episode, it would mean the absolute world to me if you could take a screenshot, share and tag me in all of your socials. I love seeing this podcast reach as many ears because I want to help so many women access more time, more revenue, more growth in their business without sacrifice. This is my absolute goal for this podcast. So Don't forget to hit subscribe or follow and leave an epic five-star review because for every review, you will receive free access to my Ignite Master Course, which was worth worth $2,991. So Ignite was a three-hour business growth conversation to help you overcome your challenges, accelerate your business and implement strategies that will help you to access more revenue, more time and more growth and help you to create the lifestyle and business of your dreams in the next 12 months. For every review, I will send you through access for Ignite Master Course. This is insanely epic. So once you've left your review, send me a DM with the word Ignite and I'll send you through your discount code so you can access Ignite for free gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining me and I shall see you in the next episode.